Hey there, it's the Yard Buddha, and I know I am not in the yard, but I soon will be out by my grill because today we are doing some kebabs, and these are going to be soy, honey, a little bit of olive oil, garlic, and ginger, and chicken kebabs. I got my kebabs ready right here, and then we're going to be doing a bunch of veggies as well. We got some mushrooms, some onions, some peppers, and a little bit of zucchini as well. And I like to keep my meat and my vegetables kind of separate in their marinade. So I do have one bag over here that I'm going to fill up with marinade. And then I'll do a, another bag over here with the veggies in it. And I actually don't do the onion in there at the same time I'll show you my little secret method of shish kebabbing the onion I don't really shish kebab it I just slice it and put it on the grill with some sauce and that's the best way that I found and obviously I gotta throw in a little dog love that's Bella all right I got the smooth jazz going on so these guys are Hmm. Yeah. They're ready for some kebabs too. I do like to cut this uh, meat. And this was a lot of meat. This was probably four breasts. I have two teenage boys and they just plow through everything. So I usually do double. So you don't have to do this much meat. But I do like to... Cut it like into big chunks, like this one inch, two inch chunks. It's just easier to kebab. You're gonna spend a whole lot less time putting it on there. And so that is four breasts cut up. And now I will show you how I mix this marinade. This is gonna be a lot more marinade than you probably would use, probably double, but I'll show you Maybe I'll show you how I mix the marinade on these veggies and that's probably how you would you would mix it just on two breasts of chicken. So let's get back to work. Okay, so for this uh, marinade for the veggies, I'm running low on my soy sauce, but we're going to have enough because I have another one here left in the in the fridge but I'm sorry if these are not exact ingredients but I've done this so many times that I kind of know so this is probably gonna be about a half a cup of the soy sauce there I'll just use what's left in here Then let's use about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we want to kind of put the honey in first and mix it around because the garlic and ginger tends to stick to everything. So I'm probably putting about a quarter of a cup of honey in there. You could use sugar too. You could probably use brown sugar. And I'm just gonna try to mix that honey up in there now. It usually dissolves pretty fast inside the soy and oil. If you Throw the garlic and ginger in there before the honey. It'll tend to kind of clump up a little bit more. So now I kind of got your liquid base. And then put in about a tablespoon of garlic. same amount of ginger and again 
in. Just mix that all up. Now you got your marinade for your veggies. And then I will also brush that on my onions at the end too, because it doesn't have any chicken uh, contamination in it. Okay, so I got all my veggies cut up. I'd like to leave them in big chunks. These are my peppers. Just easy to slide on the shish kebab. And then these were baby bell mushrooms. And I like to take the stems off just to compact them a little bit more onto the shish kebab. They take up less room. So we got a bunch of those. We like our mushrooms. And then the zucchini, I just kind of ch chopped up into maybe three quarter inch pieces. And so I'm going to throw all these veggies here into this marinade. And it's probably going to sit in there for maybe like an hour, hour and a half. And then I'm going to do the same with the meat. And I'll probably just make a double batch of that marinade that I just showed you. And let that sit in there and then I'll show you what it looks like when everything is kebobbed up. Alright, so I got my meat marinated, my veggies marinated, and I probably didn't use as much marinade as I thought on this meat. It was probably the same amount on the vegetables, so probably about a half a cup of soy. And those have been there for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So we're getting ready to skewer them. Um, this is what I do with my onions and so those are just going to go flat right on the grill and I'm going to brush on some of the sauce from the veggie uh, marinade there and you can if you want combine the two marinades you can you can put the meat and the veggies in the same one I just am a little bit more paranoid and have separated them out so that's what I've done there and then we got some basmati rice here cooking that's what we're gonna serve it over and let's get these things skewered up I'll show you what they look like all right we got these things all kebobbed up I do like to keep the meat separate from the veggies and then I do like to keep each veggie kind of on its own kebab because everything kind of cooks at its own temperature. So we have those all nicely kebabbed up. And then these onions here, I have learned you can slice them in big giant pieces and kebab them. But it's easier, so much easier just to kind of slice them halfway here into slices and then marinate them and put them on the grill. So that's kind of what we're going to do here on the side. And then lastly, to finish everything off, I'll probably put a little bit of garlic salt, just a light layer because this does have a lot of soy in here already. So we're just going to do a little bit of garlic salt on everything and we'll show you what it looks like on the grill. All right. So we're out here at the grill now and getting ready to throw some stuff on. And you kind of have to know your hottest part of your grill. I have kind of a hot part in the middle here. I have these probably about at 350, maybe 400. And because there's olive oil already in there, I didn't really have to spray anything in there, just clean your grill off. So I am just going to start by putting a meat here right in the middle luckily these skewers hit the meat pretty perfectly so i can close the top down on it oh, the right side of my grill is a little bit hotter so put most of the meat over here on the right side and then my veggies, 
the most delicate ones are probably going to be your, your peppers. So I'm going to put those over here to the left. And then these zucchini can probably get a little more heat than most of the other ones. And yes, I am running out of room. I know. But I do still have my onions over here. Don't forget about those, but they will not take as long as most of this other stuff. So maybe I'll get my peppers over here. And then <clears throat> flowers, garlic, salt. Can't go wrong with. I'll show you how much I put in. Sorry. Give a nice little light coating here. Uh, Mr. Lowry garlic salt so hopefully we don't have to flip these too much that's kind of the problem with kebabs is normally you need to turn them on all different sides so let's let these sit for about 10 minutes and look what they look like okay in about 10 12 minutes this got up to 400 degrees yeah, it's time to flip these guys. See how they're doing. You may have to put them upside down too. You might do that later. Long. That's probably what's going to come off. To put room on for the uh, onions. And maybe these peppers. It's probably not going to take that long. Either. But you can see chopping them up in big, huge chunks definitely helps keep them on there. And that's kind of why I don't like to chop up the onion. It uh, just kind of slides off. So, oh, look, there's some spot there for some onion. So, let's go get us some onion. I'll try to leave these in discs. Can. The bigger the better. Yeah, yeah. We'll get some more on there later. Get these guys started. And they will get some salt as well. All right, so these have all been on here for about 20 minutes. And I'm gonna start pulling some stuff off. I did have a little juice from the vegetable uh, bag that is okay to marinade some more of uh, the meat in so this meat should be nice and done let's just first pull off our peppers 
our mushrooms off. I like to use these tongs here. Mushrooms should be nice and done. Zucchini. Nice and done. Everything kind of cooks the same level. And, oh yeah. It's neat. It's nice and done too. So. Then, all I'm going to do now is just finish up the rest of the three onions. And all you do with the onions, get them there on the hot part. Get them nice and caramelized. Those ones are almost done too, so be like two minutes with those maybe like another five minutes with those so i'll show you what everything looks like at the end all right here is the finished product we have meat peppers we got some mushrooms and some zucchini and everything you can cut with a fork Cut your meat with a fork. Cut your peppers with the fork. Mushroom. And your onion. Put a couple more onions out there. Something to bring in, but this is how it's done. So thank you guys for watching. This was some kebabs. And we'll see you later.